everyone, we're back once again, and we're gonna, today we're checking out some uh, Team Slayer on Prisoner, or I believe the uh, new version is called Solitary. If you play the original version, you know uh, the basic layout, but if not, we we'll start you off in the middle, which is uh, if you're playing normal reach uh, Slayer, the uh, rocket launcher spawns right in the middle. Basically, uh, Prisoner is a fairly small level, but multi-layered. Uh, you have your base middle and high level, and then tippy top, you actually have a fourth level up here, which is super useful for having a sniper rifle. You see blue team right here. You can rain down some death and destruction from above. Um, you know, most of the action takes place in the center area, which is a you know a lot of ramps and uh, walkways across map. Gotta make sure you get your jumps just right, because if you drop from the top, you're gonna take some damage on the way down. Uh, this version of the map is the the updated version, which you see in the, the Reach sandbox in action with armor abilities. All right, we're going to take you around some of the new stuff. So in this top level, in addition to the lift, which takes you up here, you also have a couple of uh, like walkways on the backside. You also show off some of the uh, skybox element. And this version of Prisoner is actually uh, placed in the middle of this uh, kind of mysterious uh, structure on this snow uh, snow map right here. Snow uh, actually, it's placed on a snow world. And I'm uh, not quite sure why you're set up here, but it's sort of mysterious and gives you context. So even if you're in a small enclosed space, you're actually in a large environment, even though you can't necessarily access it. Um, there is a very similar space on the other side of the map, which is, uh, has blue lighting instead of red. So if you're playing objective types, uh, it's easier to, to tell the different parts apart, uh, different uh, sections of the level apart. Uh, another way to do that, obviously, is uh, you notice uh, the snow effects and ice effects in this level because uh, someone has broken out of this particular facility and they've uh, broken the window on the way out, so you actually have weather effects, light streaming in, which is uh, pretty nice to look at, but you don't want to spend too much time looking at it because you'll die <laughs> pretty quickly. Uh, in the classic version of the map, uh, you also have uh, some other custom power-ups which replicate the uh, basic layout and weapons uh, layout from the original map. So this is definitely one of those uh, spaces where you really want to use your verticality to your advantage. If you're playing regular reach, using that jetpack to kind of take shortcuts from the bottom levels to the top, you can really catch the people who are using sprints or armor lock or any of the other abilities by surprise from the top, uh, especially you see red team crouching here with a sniper you can get someone from a distance. Uh, so definitely you can, you can orient yourself much e more easily than you could in the, the older version of Prisoner just because of the difference uh, with the weather effects and obviously the coloring and the doors. You see the kind of an aquamarine blue on this side. The opposite side is red. So it's much easier to, to orient yourself, but uh, still uh, a lot of frenetic action on all the levels. Uh, no matter where you are in this level, you're never more than a few steps away from some action. So you definitely like close quarters, arena style maps, bam. So that is a uh, basic walkthrough, a fly through of Prisoner. And uh, as we get closer to launch, we'll be showing off some more from uh, other maps of Halo Anniversary. But until then, uh, make sure you stay tuned to IGN for all the latest Halo news and coverage.